I just wanted to start off today's video by saying thank you to everyone that watches and subscribes to this channel. Uh, I looked on my account today and it said that I am up to 1600 subscribers now and I remember a couple months ago I had just freaked out about having 800 and now there are twice as many and I, I don't know what to say beside thank you and I love you guys and I can't wait to talk to more of you in the comments and on Facebook. Hey guys, it's Spiffy and I have a loot crate today. My friend Michael purchased loot crates for a few of us as an early Christmas gift and I am very excited to open it up and see what's inside. I've never gotten a subscription box before so I'm eager to see what's inside. Alright, so right away I'm excited because I see a blind box and um, if you don't know me, I just know that I love blind boxes. Blind boxes are awesome. I, I could, there are, I've had blind box items before from shows and games that I've never played just because chibi versions of anything are really cute and I love figures. So I'm going to open this one. Uh, oh, before I open it up and show you what it is, it is a Blizzard Entertainment blind box. So we'll see what figure I get. It's a Murloc, and I think I think this one is the Loot Crate exclusive Murloc. Yeah, because it's orange. Aw, oh, it's so little and cute. Uh, this is going to go with my Guile and Ryu and the 8 million other little figures I have. So uh, Eric is going to see this and act up completely, but it's mine and he can't have it. It is a... If I can get it out of the bag here. It is a Shredder Mask with shades. Like, what? I'm really excited. Like, oh my gosh, no. Oh yeah, I will put on my glasses. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I feel kind of powerful with uh, with shredder shades on. I'm gonna save this for something. I, I'm gonna work out some kind of fun costume to do with people because this is too cool to not use. Alright, so I definitely chose the right month to use a coupon because there is a Fallout item and... Uh, oh my goodness. Is it a bobblehead? Wait a minute. It is a Vault Boy bobblehead. Yo! Yo! Oh, I'm so excited! Ah! It is a Vault Boy bobblehead. I don't know if you can see his head bobbling, but... It's happening, and it's cute. Let me check the uh, computer to see if... Yeah, you can see it. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm already excited. I might have to, you know, keep my subscription and get another loot crate, because that was too cool. Let's see what else. Oh, this. There's a Mockingjay pin. Oh, it is. Wow, this box is like oddly specific to things that I like. It's kind of, it's kind of cool in a weird way. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just very, very, it's a very uh, cool collection of things. You get this thing out of the package. If anyone read The Hunger Games or you know has seen the movies, uh, uh, please, please don't, please don't get me started on my uh, feelings of movie to book accuracy, but. I I very much do love that series. It was a very I don't want to say eye-opening because there are a lot of kind of dystopian or like utopian into dystopian society uh, books and stories. But Hunger Games was very special to me because it was very intense. Um, it's like the second you get to meet Katniss and everyone else, suddenly they're all killing each other, and uh, Suzanne Collins did a very good job of humanizing characters that uh, you might not have liked otherwise. Like even uh, my favorite character is Cato from the first book. The, when you think about it, they're just, they're all kids and they're pawns and toys in a terrible, terrible government structure and I really like the book and I'm really glad that I have a Mockingjay pin now. I'm actually going to wear this. It might go on my vest that has all the buttons, it might go on something else, but I'm actually going to wear this Mockingjay pin 
really glad I got it. Going in again, cute but deadly. Oh, are these stickers? No, they're magnets. Uh, so going along with that blizzard um, figure, there are magnets I can punch out and use on my magnet board or the fridge, and that is actually pretty cool. Oh, everything's so cute and tiny. It's weird how you can take really scary monsters and make them really cute just because they're now superimposed and, and in chai. Ooh, there's a loot crate. Little magazine. Oh, that is cool. It's a little magazine that and it talks about all the items that you got. You got the, the shredder shades and bobblehead and a little interview and wait a minute. I missed something. There's something. <gasps> wait a minute. Y'all. Y'all. Do you know what I, the last item in this box is that I, I didn't realize was in the box and I had to look in that little magazine to know? This, this is a Street Fighter comic. I love Street Fighter comics. I read them online and I wanted to purchase the volumes and there was one in this week, this month's Loot Crate. It is by Udon and Udon is awesome. If you guys didn't know, go look on the website. The Udon website has uh, comics you can actually read online as well as comics you can buy and they're awesome. And it is number one. Street Fighter Hyper Looting, and I have number one, and I might have to keep getting them because I am way in love with Street Fighter comics. And you wouldn't believe who's on the front. It is Mr. You know, Family Man himself, Guile. Well, that was it for my Loot Crate haul. Um, well, not really a haul, unboxing. I didn't select all these things myself. This was actually pretty fun, and I might keep my subscription or try out a box from Nerd Block or Arcade Block or something like that, because this is actually a bunch of stuff that I like. Uh, I've always been kind of nervous about trying a crate or a box because I don't want to get a bunch of stuff I don't care about or like. There have been boxes that I see the stuff of after they've been released and everything, and I'm like, that box is either all stuff I like, moderately stuff I like, or stuff I just hate. And I'll have a ton of stuff I don't care about, but this crate, this box was actually pretty good. There was, uh, aside from the Blizzard stuff, there was something I didn't know about, and I don't hate the Blizzard stuff. It's all cute. Um, so I might actually stick around with that subscription and get another one. Thank you, Michael, for getting me this gift. This is actually very nice. It was very thoughtful. I enjoyed it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit me up on Facebook. Uh, let me know how you're doing, what you guys are playing, what you're cosplaying, what you're reading. I feel like I haven't found a new book or like anime or game to try out, especially for like 3DS. I feel like I haven't picked a new game in a long time. The last game I got was Lego Batman 3. And it's fun, but I mean I want other games. Uh, so hit me up with those things. Hit me up, tell me a story. Tell me about the cons you guys have been going to. I see a lot of people going to these winter cons that I'm nowhere near and can't enjoy. So tell me about conventions and your plans and things like that. And I hope you guys are well. Uh, I really do appreciate everything. 1600 subscribers is more than I thought I would get ever, uh, let alone with in less than a year. So thank you guys for being around and talking to me and subscribing and sharing my videos with everyone else. Love you guys. Bye.